five minutes to go. Yeah. I'll bring up a display of all the different fronts and transmit it to everyone in real time.
Now, let us begin. It's now time. All units, stand by for orders. Defense Operation Jormungan! All squads, advance! Begin Operation Meal Mirage. Fan out and intercept the enemy. We need to stop their advance.
operations are now underway. Ground forces have engaged on the borders of Crossbell and of Nord. The Imperial Army's advances into Liberal and Remetheria have come to a halt. It's as we thought. Olivier! Right. Commence Operation Shining Steel. All ships, infiltrate the salt pails. Aye, aye, Captain! Distortion! Dead ahead! A phase space expansion. It's just like the Azure Tree. Teleport in now! Just like we planned! Understood! May Adios protect you. We'll provide support from here. Ha ha! Go forth! Show me that glorious beauty brimming within you! To victory! Right! So this is what it's like inside. It almost reminds me of Phantasma. Ah, the war might have already reached Liberal by now. Yeah. Dad won't be able to buy us much more time. Can you feel the ominous tension in the air? There's definitely something protecting this place. <laughs> All we gotta do is go kick its ass and take out that barrier. You ready, Tita? Yeah. Let's go. Special support section. Move out! We need to stop this war. It's the first step toward taking back Crossbell's freedom. Right. Everything we've worked so hard for will go to waste if we don't succeed here. We'll take care of this so fast, Sonya and Mario won't have to lift a finger. Let's show them how the special support section gets it done. Roger Wilco. Take care, Kia. I will! The Salt Pale, a creation of the Beyond. It is high time these anomalies were removed from our world. Yes. I will break through any obstacle to open a path for my lady. Ha! <laughs> I remember you using a hammer back during our field exercises. Can't wait to see what that combat shell of yours can do. I'm counting on you, George. Right. You got it, Angie. May my lord's will guide my blade. I'll use it to carve out a new path for Rain and the others. Well said. We Stallridder stand united by a single purpose. <laughs> Though it seems some of us have some more personal reasons. Hmm? N nonsense! 
sense. <laughs> this one's for the boss. Fee and the others as well. Further words are unnecessary. Let us begin. Yes. Understood, Master. <laughs> you two seem fired up. Maybe we'll just sit back and watch. Uh, I'm pretty sure we need you on the front lines, too. All right. Let's get going. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, that should do it. The Pale's power is fading! Now's our chance! Now go forth, and be the hope of this world! We've confirmed the barrier is down. They did it. Incoming message from Father Thomas. He says it'll be back up in approximately ten minutes. Understood. Commence phase three of Operation Shining Steel. The Courageous Two will now begin its assault on the fortress. Prepare yourselves, Class Seven. Aye, aye, Captain. Deactivate noise suppression and optical camouflage now. Courageous 2, full speed! Deactivating noise suppression and optical camouflage! 20 seconds until we reach maximum speed! Here they come! Yes, just like we expected. Confirmed visual on the Glorious. Ships also confirmed! Well, what are you waiting for? Activate interception lasers and missile parts! Deploy the main cannon! Deploying interception lasers and missile parts! Deploying main cannon! You're nothing but an 
events compared to the great Gilbert Stein. We don't even need the glorious for the likes of you. All units attack formation G. We'll pluck those crimson wings of theirs. Yeah. You had lasers! Fell! I go fell! Ah! I barely got to enjoy the spotlight this time! You haven't seen the last of me! Uh, he really never learns, does he? You think this is bad? You should hear about his little exploits in Liberal. Forget about him. Here they come! Looks like we're gonna have our hands full. Ions, Archaisms, even Zauber Soldats. They look unmanned. They must all be set to autopilot. Those models have missile jammers and anti-laser armor. <laughs> it looks like they're planning to attack the ship directly. Then now is the time to execute our own plan. Agreed. Everyone, prepare for battle! <laughs> Roger that! I'll teleport your Panzer Soldats in. You guys protect the ship. Understood. Leave it to us. I will deploy a defensive shield. Green! Right! Let's do this! Speed ahead! Raise impact shields! We'll power through the Glorious's barrage and aim for the opening in the Imperial Fortress's outer walls. Yes, Captain. Raise the impact shields! The time is now! Fire at will! 30 seconds until we engage! We're approaching the drop-off point! We're nearly there! Class 7! Get ready! Everyone, stay safe. 
I believe in you, and the bonds you share. Please get back safely. For all who await your return. For the world, and for our future. And thus did the wintry fate of our world fall into the springtide hands of youth. Yes, this is the moment of truth. Oh, Fee, feels like just yesterday you were only a little squirt. Takes all I got to keep back the waterworks. My lady, everyone. Knowing them, they'll be just fine. Sorry. Pro, it's up to you now. Leanne, grant them safe passage. Good luck, Reen. Everyone. Musei, Yuna too. It all ends today. We're counting on you to prevent another Hamala Ravenel. Good luck, Johan. And now, good luck, Ash. I wish there was more I could do to help them. Me too. But Yuni's gonna be fine. She's with Reen and the others. Yes. We can trust them. They're our friends after all. I'm sure everything's gonna be just fine! Yeah. I know our future is in good hands. What do you think? Will we be able to change this fairy tale's ending this time? It'll be difficult. But there is a small glimmer of hope. Don't worry. If anyone can do it, it's them. Yes. We now pass the torch to a new generation of heroes. May you become the ray of light that drives back the darkness of this era. Oh, man. Guess there's no turning back now, huh? Right. Our only option is to press on. The Courageous Two is engaged in a fierce battle, and my father and those at the Pales are still far away. Right. And all our other allies are scattered across the continent. The only ones here are us, and our foes. In addition, the war is surely underway by now. Though the first day will only be light skirmishes, I've no doubt that by tomorrow it will be a bloodbath. Yeah, the Imperial Army's advance was halted in Liberal and Remiferia. But I'm sure before long, they'll deploy my dad with the 3rd and 4th Armored Divisions. Cassius guessed that the Imperial Army has a 60% chance of winning. If he's right, Erebonia will take over the entire continent, and so will the Curse. And then the Great One will have total control over everything. Everyone on the continent will become its servants, just like the gnomes. Even Mil Mirage, our only plan to stop them will cause millions of casualties. That carnage will lead to the Great One's completion as well. Indeed. Were that to happen, a new battle would begin. One that may very well lead to mankind's extinction. Huh. So no matter what happens, we're gonna go through hell. We can't worry about any of that now. This will be the turning point. Right. Everything's resting on this. But you know what? It doesn't really faze me. Probably because we're all here together. As Class 7. You're right. We finally have every member of Class 7 back with us. Including my sister, and Ash. 
Aw, Tilly. I'm glad to be back, too. Hey, I've been back for a while. Don't go digging up old crap. Now that I think about it, this really is the first time we're all together. Crow wasn't with us when we fought the Dark Dragon. You're right, Emma. He was still on the wrong team back then. Hey, get off my back, okay? Can we just let my dark past go already? It's your own fault. Let's not forget your little stint as C, either. Looking back, the whole masked terrorist persona you had was rather cringe-inducing. Just admit it, Crow. You love that edgelord look. Don't call it that. I looked badass, okay? The world's about to end, but look at us. Same as always. Maybe it's because the world's about to end. But now, we know what we need to do. All that's left is to move forward. Yes. Every member of Class 7 will move as one. Together we are a single blade, forged by our bonds. Agreed. This may be the greatest challenge we've ever faced, but I know we will rise to meet it. As a swordsman of the Vander School, I must fight for what I believe in, no matter the challenge. Yes, and the Panzer Soldats are in top condition. I trust they'll be of some help in the battles to come, alongside Ordeen. Got it. Thanks. Okay. Listen- Hold on there, Reen. You think we're gonna let you do the big speech all by yourself again? Ugh. Crow's right. You've been hogging the spotlight on your own for way too long. We talked this over and decided we should do this as a team. <laughs> so let's all give the final order together. It's a big responsibility, but you don't need to do it alone. Share it with us. Okay, you win. Let's do it then. But only if you promise to make it the best one yet. <laughs> you bet. Sheesh, way to put the pressure on. Members of Class 7, our final mission begins now. Fierce battles await us. The Vermilion, Auric, and Ebon Knights stand in our path. And we'll also need to face their Awakeners. In the Vermilion Knights since Cedric Rice Arnor, Crown Prince of Erebonia. Rufus Alborea, the Jade Rook, leader of the Iron Bloods and the Governor General of Crossbell. And now, the Awakener of the Auric Knight. Claire Revelt, the Railway Military Police's icy maiden, will be waiting for us there as well. Though she's not an Awakener, she'll stand against us as one of the Ironbloods. Same goes for Scarecrow. Major Lecter Arundel, member of the Intelligence Division and another one of Osborne's Ironbloods. Ouroboros will also stand in our way. Such as the mysterious Enforcer Number Zero, Campanella the Fool. The Grand Master's right hand. Not to mention Bloody Shirley, the Sanguine Ogre. She'll probably be with the Prince. Mariabel Croyce, Ouroboros's third Anguis and the daughter of Crossbell's former mayor. Also known as the Wellspring Alchemist. She's a genius with a twisted personality. There's also Enforcer Number One, McBurn, the Almighty Conflagration, whose full potential is still a mystery. Perhaps that wavering shadow you saw was his true form. There's also the Chief of the Gnomes and Head of the Black Workshop. Franz Reinford, now known as Black Alberic. And finally, the Awakener of the Ebon Knight, Gileath Osborne, the Blood and Iron Chancellor. He is also the reincarnation of the Lionheart Emperor, Dreykel's Rice Arnor. Not only is their power in a completely different league from ours, They'll be well prepared, but we're just as ready as they are. It's taken us two and a half years to get here, and we've learned a lot on the way. And on top of all that experience, we have the spirit of Thor's and the will of the Radiant Wings at our backs. There's no way Gramps and the others are gonna beat us. We'll take them on anywhere, anytime. Right. All that's left is to prove it. There's no barrier we can't overcome. After all, we're Thor's Military Academy's Class 7. <laughs> 
We shall lend you our power. Defeat the other Divine Knights and put a stop to the Ebon Knight's madness. I'll be with you guys every step of the way. The Imperial Fortress is, what, 1200 years old? That's not bad for a final stage. Now everyone, let's get started. Let's bring an end to this crappy fairy tale, once and for all.